Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, October 24th. We're reporting after the markets have closed today, so we'll kind of see the uh, where and things ended up. We had just two economic news on our releases scheduled for today, and that's the weekly jobless claims. We had uh, 362,000 people applying for work last uh, week. Or, or applying for unemployment, excuse me. And uh, this week is at 3.37. So it's been missing the mark here because it's been going between around 3.30 and things have been shooting up anywhere between 3.50 all the way up to 3.75 range. And uh, we'll see this week is no difference. We hit the 3.50 mark again above the estimates. Uh, for a while there we were between 3.20 and 3.30 range, which is a good range, but all of a sudden we've been kind of shifting over the last maybe month uh, with more people filing for unemployment. So something to really definitely keep an eye on there. Uh, last but not least, we got the market flash for the PMI, uh, which is a purchase merchandise index. This is kind of a gauge on uh, manufacturing in the U.S. We have anything above 50 is considered expansion. Anything below that begin, uh, is talking about uh, contraction. So if last reporting was at 52.8. So d again, uh, it is showing a little bit of expansion, but not much, obviously. And for the month of October, it dropped down a little bit to 51.1, which they're kind of contributing that towards uh, the government shutdown uh, for the pullback on that. So we'll just jump over to the Highland News, what's going on over there. Uh, stock market went up today uh, because we had some good earnings reports again. Um, also, there's a talk that uh, they came out with China's um, PMI was up, so they're kind of feeling better uh, globally, uh, albeit it was only a 50.8. Uh, they're went upwards so not great numbers nothing to blow uh you know a little bit of smoke and mirrors perhaps but obviously uh, an improvement showing some expansion uh let's see how this affected the bond market today and uh close down so we kind of closed that gap that we had uh when we opened up yesterday so we were down about uh, 102.50 where we left off yesterday at 102.66. So that's 16 basis points that we closed lower, which would now result in slightly worse pricing for the uh, for interest rates today. Uh, we do, however, you know, got room uh, to go upwards. Uh, we're probably at the low point of this uh, nice edge towards uh, upwards. So this nice uh, uh, trend we're moving upwards. So we're probably at the low point and uh, probably be between what we'll probably stick between 102 and 103 range uh, for a little bit here uh, as we kind of edge, keep edging upwards uh, for more improved interest rates. All right, folks, uh, but today, uh, not, uh, not as good as yesterday, but we'll see how tomorrow turns out. Uh, we, could, we got some room uh, tomorrow. We could see some improvement. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll look forward to watching or Look forward to uh, seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.